All right, this is part two of that video um, as far as assembling the Carolina Shooter Supply Conversion Kit. Um, what I was saying is you want to make sure that this is up a little bit higher so it clears the bolt as that bolt comes back. Um, I've seen a video where a guy, this broke off, and what it was is it, it fell down behind the bolt carrier just like I've got it now. And basically as that bolt comes back, you can see it pushes it to the side and it'll break that off. So you want to make sure that you have this high um, before you put your top cover back on. Um, I've got mine completely off. I basically just drove the pin out that uh, holds this cover in place. It makes it kind of nice when you're working on the inside of the gun to have that cover off. Um, some people take it off. Some people leave it on. But I like to take it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this back in. This pin... Um, feels like it's a tapered pin. It seems to go in from the left to the right easier for me um, than from the right to the left. And I just basically slide it into place till it stops. And I'll take that and just drive it in. I don't have my hammer right now, so I'm going to use a screwdriver. Basically, you just want to just seat that snug. You don't want it loose in there, but you also don't want to drive it all the way through and stretch those holes out. Um, so again, if I had my proper tool, it would have been a little easier, but that works for me. Basically, that allows us to pivot without coming off of there. And what you'll do is just reinstall this top cover, and I'm going to flip the gun over, and the last thing I want to do is install the grip. Uh, they included a really nice grip with this kit. Um, it's kind of like the 249 style grip, and it's nice. It's got a big grip to it. If you've got smaller hands, I would almost recommend sticking with a standard size AK grip, um, which Tapco, Tapco makes one, and I think they're only about uh, $10, and you can get these at most places. Um, that's your standard style. AK grip there and you can see the one they include with the kit is uh, significantly wider and it's a little bit longer as well uh, which is kind of nice again if you got bigger hands and with a big gun like this uh, it helps with controlling that firearm um, so what I like to do is just pop the cover open these covers are kind of rough but it works and I'll take the provided screw they included with the kit and you're gonna need a a long allen key this is the longest one I've got in this size and you're gonna to want to run it through the hole and the bottom of the grip and just kind of stick it out what I like to do is as I come down I'll just kind of start threading it and once I feel it catch those threads I'll seat the grip down and run it the rest of the way in and with your grip nut same thing you can put a uh, drop of blue Loctite on there and uh, that'll hold that into place for you um, before I do this, though, I've got a, a standard AK stock. Um, I want to say it's like a Bulgarian stock or something. But needless to say, I want to install that. And I, I just went ahead and drilled a small hole there um, and cut down a standard stock so it would fit inside of this receiver because it's not the same opening as a standard AK. And I just run uh, wood screws down into there. Push that back and again I drilled that hole there so I could run a wood screw into this stock to hold it into place because it isn't like a standard AK um, so you can't use regular hardware to hold that in place but again this you know the wood screw works fine for what I'm doing and what's kind of nice is your AK grips will cover up that screw once you put them into place um, so you don't see that wood screw at all. It's underneath the grip once the grip's installed. And I'll show you that in just a second. One thing I recommend you get when you order this kit is uh, Carolina Shooter Supply has a, uh, a back plate that screws into the Catamount Fury. And uh, basically, you can use a whole bunch of different stocks on that back plate. It's the two-screw style. I can't remember what they call that back that style of stock mount. But uh, you could do side folders, collapsible stocks, wire stocks, pretty much whatever you want. Um, 
and it's really not an expensive part and you could do some really sick setups with it. And a little spring there catches that and keeps that door from opening. But yeah, you can see uh, basically once that's in place, it covers up the wood screw that I had there and it looks really clean. And I've got another screw that I run in from the top. And of course, I have to pop my top cover open. Move this out of the way to do it. But I just ran it through where the standard uh, screw for the original stock went. Um, there's a little threaded hole there. And I just put my wood screw through that threaded hole and ran it into the stock for me. Um, you know, just, just kind of showing people that you can modify a standard AK stock to bolt onto the uh, trunnion. It just takes some, some time and cutting that wood down. Uh, so it so it actually fits in this receiver because that rear trunnion is not a standard AK trunnion So of course Unfortunately, you can't use standard stocks unless you cut them to fit um, But you can see I basically just cut that stock down on a, uh, a Spinning grinding stone like an 8-inch grinding stone and just kept fitting it until I got it to fit right uh, It took a few tries, but it was fairly easy to do like I said, I just use wood screws to hold it in place, and it seems to be pretty solid. There you go, and that's basically everything there. And again, I'm going to run through this trigger kit, and basically what, what you're checking for is to make sure the trigger operates properly. You're going to want to put the gun on safe, um, and with the gun on safe, you want to make sure that it does not fire. Um, then you're going to go to fire. And what I like to do is pull the bolt all the way back and hold the trigger back and then just let go and make sure my disconnect and everything is working. And then I'm going to dry fire the gun one time just to make sure everything's clean. Um, they include the, the modified trigger they use at Carolina Shooter Supply is a Tapco G2 trigger. And it's actually got a, a really clean break on it. It's one of the lighter AK triggers on the markets. And I'm basically just use this fish scale to kind of see where it's breaking at for me. Um, this is out of the box without any polishing. And it broke right at 3, 3.2 pounds. Um, I'll just do one more. Yeah, it's, it's breaking right at about 3 pounds, which is incredible for an AK. Of course, it's going to have a long travel trigger, um, and there's a bit of slop in there, but that's common with AKs. That's something that, you know, you're not really going to find an AK out there that doesn't have a, a good bit of creep and a little bit of slop to that trigger. Uh, but this is pretty solid in there, and it works really well. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it in the line for you. And basically, after you get this complete kit done, it... Uh, it looks really well on the gun. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, big old 249 style grip, but again, if you've got if you've got big hands, it tends to work well for manipulation and control of this size gun. But I do, I think I'm going to end up going with the standard style AK grip. And in the future, I'd like to get that rear trunnion so I could do a, maybe like a Ace Ultra Light stock or something like a SOCOM style stock. Um, lighten this gun up just a little bit and of course uh, in the future I also like to uh, test out the reliability kit this gun runs really well out of the box but uh, if the reliability kit the Carolina Shooter P Supply puts out makes this gun run better um, it's definitely going to be worth putting in the firearm so that's something uh, in the future I'd like to definitely test out and I'll, I'll make sure I make a video on it if I uh, pick one of those kits up so yeah, I mean overall, <coughs> these trigger kits are fairly easy to install. You can see after I had the gun stripped, it took me roughly 30 minutes. And that was while sitting here talking and kind of explaining things as I went. So it's not something that's uh, terribly hard to do. And uh, I think anybody with a little bit of mechanical skills would be able to do it. Um, and you can see I was using kind of crude tools, again, to, to cut the... Uh, slot for the trigger guard I just used a Dremel with a cutting bit <clears throat> and took my time and what I did was I I had cut out the piece of paper with the template and just kind of penciled it on the receiver the, 
the graphite from the pencil shows up real well on that matte finish. So when you cut with the uh, Dremel, it makes it, it makes it just a lot easier than sitting there and trying to figure out your measurements that you need to do. So they made that really nice coming with that. That's something uh, that I just, that tickled me having that. That was awesome. But yeah, I, uh, I've installed several of these kits. Um, this is the first one that I've done on the Catamount Fury and everything seemed to go in really well and fit good, which is, uh, it's nice. It's, it makes it easy when you don't have to modify a whole lot to put a, uh, a conversion like that in. A lot of people don't have a machine shop at their house, so it's not something they, uh, they want to take on because they think that they're going to have to do all kind of machining work and it's really not as hard as people think it is. And every kit that I've gotten from these guys has been really well thought out and just installed really easy. Basically, as far as reliability, um, I haven't gotten to run the Catamount Fury with their conversion in it yet, of course. Uh, but again, I've I've installed it on the Sega 12, and I've done the Sega uh, a couple of the Sega 12s, and I've done three of the uh, 762s now. Uh, one for me and a couple for some buddies. And every one of them, I mean, I've got my first Sega 12 that I did, I've got well over a thousand rounds uh, through the firearm and haven't had any issues with it whatsoever as far as the conversion goes. And uh, everything's held together real well. It is built solid. So, you know, I highly recommend you check out these guys' uh, products. Since I've found their website, I've just loved everything I've gotten from them. And as far as these Catamount Furies, they've just started putting out some more parts. And uh, those parts are, they've, they've got a, um, I guess a muzzle attachment that you would take your choke out of your barrel. And it threads in and basically you could use your standard Sega 12 muzzle brakes on your Catamount Fury, which is nice because a lot of us wanted to use muzzle brakes on these guns. And until now, we really couldn't do much of nothing as far as that goes and another piece they've got out is the adjustable gas block rather than two positions I believe it's got uh, like four or five positions and then they've got the reliability kit which includes the gas puck and I believe a recoil spring and it may include that uh, adjustable gas block but I'm not I'm not ex exactly sure so don't quote me on that but yeah, definitely. Uh, I recommend going by checking out Shooters, uh, Carolina Shooters Supply dot com, and uh, just seeing what they've got. Again, as far as parts go, they Sega Twelve, um, basically any of your Sega conversion kits, stocks, grips, uh, internals, replacement parts. They've got a lot of stuff on their website, and uh, they've got really nice videos on uh, how to install them. Again, uh, they've got the Catamount Fury videos that are just popping up, and uh, Sega 12. They've got you know how to how to do all your conversion kits, and they do a really good job of showing you, and it's well lit. You can see what's going on. So I recommend swinging by their YouTube page as well. Uh, it's just Carolina Shooters, and you can see all their how-to videos. And uh, if you get their kits, you can check that out. And again, you want to swing by their website page which is uh, carolinashootersupply.com and just see what they got. I appreciate it guys and uh, basically as a teaser for the next video I'm going to be posting up. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. It's probably been about a month now. Um, I do have more videos coming and I think in this next video I'm going to be doing the uh, Micro Draco which is one of my newer firearms and basically I've got a shockwave brace on there with a side folding attachment uh, which is really cool and it makes this gun look really good but yeah just look forward to a video coming up with this firearm here which will be awesome as well i appreciate it guys don't forget to uh like subscribe leave a comment below and uh yeah i'll see y'all soon